Hey guys, what is going on? It's Nebrus here. Welcome back to another video, and today we're playing on Bad Lion, and today's video is going to be talking about transfer packets and how they're beneficial to the community. So about transfer packets, most of this stuff actually comes from the Hypixel community. That's pretty much what it's based off of. However, it can be applied for it to other servers as well. So before I get, get right into this one, I, I'd like to say thank you for 29,000 subscribers, and please leave a like on this video. Let's try to get 500 likes on this video. If we hit that, that will be our like goal today. So let's get right into the video topic. So also, I'd like to give most of the credit of this video to the Hypixel moderator Bug Froggy as he provided most of the information I'm going to be explaining in this video in this post, why do we need transfer packets? Now this may sound a bit redundant when I say it at first, but basically what transfer packets are, are ways to transfer packets, who would have guessed, across different IP addresses. Basically when you join a server such as Hypixel and Badline and it has a lobby, and that lobby has multiple different subservers. So when you're in a lobby and try to join a sub game, the lobby is hosted on computer A, however the sub game is hosted on computer B. And you might be saying, oh, isn't that exactly what we're needing? What we're needing? That's a packet that transfers you across the different servers. But that's actually not true. What's actually happening is when you join the lobby or computer A and then try to join a subgame, com computer B, what's happening is computer A is taking all of your data, the client sends it, and then forwards it to another computer. So computer B. So then computer B then sends all the data back to computer A to you. So computer A basically acts as a messenger between the proxies. So you're not actually switching between different IPs with packets. What's actually happening is it's just forwarding your information. And then when you want to switch between com uh, computer B to another game, for example, if you rejoin a Skywars game or whatever, then computer A just tricks the client into thinking you're switching between two worlds. So for example, you're switching between the overworld and the end. And that's basically the concept of a proxy. And you might say, well, what if Hypixel wanted to add an EU server? Well, that they actually cannot do that because they would have to route the packets that they're sending through the North American proxies. So say you lived in Great Britain. If you lived in Great Britain and you were trying to connect to a server hosted in Spain, you might say, oh, well, you're going to get 20 MS or something like that. But no, that's not true. It's actually going to increase ping. Because what's happening is you're going to send your data all the way back to the US proxy and then it's going to transfer, it's going to not transfer you, but it's going to then connect all the way to the server in Spain. So that's the issue right now because that if you do that, then you're going to end up creating EU proxies that doesn't actually help EU people. So what's the solution most servers have for this? Well, what most servers do to add a new proxy is they basically have a bunch of game servers located around different proxies around the world. So they basically add multiple proxies. But the issue with that is that for Hypixel, for example, it splits up the community, therefore making the community smaller and less players online. So say you were trying to play, say you were from, you know, Uzbekistan and you wanted to join the closest server, which we'll say is the Japanese server. But no one is on at your time because, you know, you're in Uzbekistan and the server is hosted in Japan, different time zones. So either you have proxies all around the world in like every single country, which basically takes the community and splits it up into little, little, tiny, little fractions, which basically overall hurts the community because the, the more you split up something the smaller it gets so where do transfer packets come into play here so if you place a bunch of proxies around the world and you join mc.hypixel.net it will send you to one of the proxies so this is where transfer packets come into play so if you're for example once again in great britain and you're trying to play Hypixel. You connect to mc.hypixel.net on the North American proxy, which then, when you join a game, it realizes you're, you're from Europe, and then transfers you to, this is the transfer packet, to eu.hypixel.net, which is located in Spain, which gives you 30 MS to the game server. And if there's not enough play players playing the game servers, it will just keep you on the closest server with the most number of players. So therefore, it doesn't split up the community, and it allows people from around the world to have the same ping. Now, once again, this is all a hypothetical, considering Mojang would have to manually add transfer packets into the game for us, which they, which they have not yet, which is an unfortunate situation, but it's something that actually just, you know, happens to be. So, hope everyone enjoyed. Once again, let's try to get 500 likes on this video, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.